Boy, Stearns used to have some great basketball teams yeah. way back. Oh, yeah, big time. Was your dad on one of them great teams? No, he never played basketball in oh. high school. He was, he worked. Yeah. He was more interested in cars and motorcycles and stuff. He played on the golf team. But other than that, he worked. And he regretted it, too. He's, he told Mike and I when we were growing up that he just wanted us to play sports. He didn't, you know, you've got the rest of your life to be able to work. You just right. enjoy everything about high school. Well, yeah. you know, and, and he could enjoy watching you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I love going to watch our kids do stuff. <coughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. They used to come out to my games. Yep. To hold them. Who was, did you have any uncles on that team that went to the uh, Easterns? Didn't Stearns have a Boston Celtics team? Yeah, that was 63. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that was before my dad's time, yeah. a little bit ahead of him. Um, New England. They won region. the New England, New England. They won the whole New England championship. Ah, back then they had the, that's awesome. <laughs> In the Boston Garden. Yeah. And they, how did that work out? They lost in the state, they lost in the state championship. Huh. I want to say to Bath. Huh. Really? How did they for some to reason, go on? There was, I can't remember the reason, but huh. there was some reason how, why they got to go to that New England tournament huh. in, the, in the garden. Anyway, they, they either had an exemption or they had a at-large bid or something. I don't know why. Yeah. And then they ended up beating Bath in the no championship. way. It was Maine. It was yeah, all like Maine. Maine. Oh yeah. wow! I want to look that up. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that should be a it movie. It was a small group. Like it wasn't very many teams in that New England tournament. I don't think. Huh. Huh. It's basically BIW versus GNP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, that's why those two towns are there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Imagine playing in the garden in high school. Jeez. Quite a throw. Yeah. Hoosiers. It'd be like Hoosiers all over again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, even, you know, like you going to St. Joe's and yeah. playing teams from Florida and all over, that's quite something, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite I thought an it was. experience. Yeah, playing, we used to go down to New York, New Jersey. Yeah. Vermont, mm -hmm. travel all over. Yeah. It was a good conference when we were in it. Yeah, uh, it's different now. Yeah, it's different now. It doesn't have the rivalries. No. St. Joe's is in a conference with nobody else in Maine. Huh. Why is that? Just because they're good? I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because we used to go to Endicott. We went to Tufts and played there once. Mm -hmm. Um, all the way down to Jersey and New York. Hmm. Yeah. Like, like Northeastern gets to play the Red Sox during spring I know, training. Right? Oh, yeah. that's right. In <laughs> <laughs> fact, I was watching part of that game. It was on ESPN. We, Stevie got to play at Fenway. Donnie, do you want a beer? Another one? No, I got Show still a half No, I'm good. Yeah, Stevie played at Fenway. Wow. He put a dent in the Green Monster. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He got a single out of it. Yep. Huh. He, 110 mile an hour hit into the Monster. Huh. Whenever I'd see those on TV, I, I'd think to myself, there's no reason why that guy shouldn't be on. He, he wasn't running hard out of the box. <laughs> He's got to be standing on second base. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I think you might have had two steps out of the box by the time it hit the wall. That's how hard he hit it. Like uh, it was a line drive. Yeah. It would have been out of any major league ballpark other than Fenway. Yeah. yeah. That's because yeah. it was still going up. Uh, ah. Yeah. yeah. And I'll never forget the sound of it. It was just kaboom. Yeah. It was so loud. Yeah, like a shotgun. Huh. And it literally was, I bet you it was in the guy's hands before you were even at first. Yeah, like I took a hard turn around first, like I'm, yeah. I'm thinking double. Right. And then the ball's already on its way into the second base and I'm only two steps past huh. first. I had to put the brakes on and wow. go back. It's like, all right, I understand now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Who, what team you, were you playing? It was an all-star team, so they took uh, uh, New England colleges, divisions two and three, yeah. and put an all-star team together against the division one all-star oh. team from New England. And, yeah. and we had a game at Fenway. Yeah, yeah it was great. Did, so how did it end out? We smoked them. Really? Uh, it was like 17 to one or two. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was, wasn't even competitive. Ah. Did Pat get picked on that team? No, Pat was already out of, oh. he might have not been out, but he used all his eligibility for baseball by that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, what was his, his, was, his last year wasn't ours, it was the year before. Yeah, but I still think he student taught our year, didn't he? No, he was still in school our year. Oh. Huh. Yeah, he was still there our senior year. Oh, he was. <laughs> did, did I live with him in the house? Yeah, that was our senior year. Yeah, you did. Was he student? He was, but he was finishing up his. He was still in school, but it, I don't think he was like taking classes. I think he was doing his student teaching. Oh. Do you think or no? Was he? In, no, I think he, he had taking, classes. He had classes. Yeah. Oh, Pat. Wh Pat was, was there six or seven. Was years. gonna be a teacher, or I guess he did teach for a while, right? Yeah. He was so dominant of a pitcher, and then he kind of went to hell, and then he come back as a starting pitcher. Uh, Coach needed him as a starter, and he did good. Mm -hmm. Boyd played. What well. was the uh, Clyde Soupfor? Clyde Soupfor oh, said he could have made that name. He scouted Jackie Robinson. Yeah. Oh, okay. He brought Jackie Robinson to the majors, yeah. and he was a major league catcher. Okay. For the Dodgers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have one of his cards. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he gave... He what used, town was he from? Waldemar. Oh, really? Washington. Oh, Washington. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He grew up in Washington. Yeah, did he grow up by Mariners? Yeah, that right on the on corner. On the corner where they there just put a house there. Yeah, they just put a... Um, a storage. Storage, there. yeah. Yeah, that's where he grew up. That's what I heard. Yeah. I almost think I remember like a rundown house when I moved to town that was there, but I, I yeah. could be wrong. Yeah. I mean, it was there... Well after anybody lived in it. Yeah, that that was there then, yeah. Yeah. But right. yeah, he scouted Jackie Robinson, brought him to the majors. Yeah. But he was good wow. friends of Bobby's father. Yeah. And they used to get together and play cribbage all the time. Yeah. Then he gave Bill, a, you know, one of his cards. Oh, no kidding. Major League, you know, that you get in bubble gum. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we still have it. So he... Uh, Lloyd Hodgkins used to tell me about Don, because yeah. Lloyd was like me, he just went as far as he can go with no talent, Yeah, loved the game, Yeah, and he played for the Augusta Millionaires, Lloyd did. Yeah, they used to have a town team, you yeah. know, Waldemar had a town team then, Yeah, and Fred, I think Bremen did, and there was a bunch of That them. was big, oh, back mm, then, yeah. because... <clears throat> Uh, Great Northern had a town team, too, yeah. and my great-grandfather played. I was looking through some old uh, photos and stuff, yeah. and team photos of, yeah. of the great GNP on their uniform, the old wool uniforms, and, wow. you know, GNP, yeah. and my grandfather saying, yeah, that's that's my dad right there. Yeah. He played outfield. He was a good ball player. <laughs> Jeez, the but all the little town, like Malunkus had a team, and... Matawan, yeah. Connecticut. Every little town. And it wasn't team. age restricted, right? Like, no, I like if you played ball, you could play, right? Yeah. I yeah, you so. could have been high school kids. You could have been older. It was a town team. It was just a town team. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And we in Millinocket, we had right in the center of our town. We had like a ballpark with like grandstands. And yeah. Oh yeah, Walderboro did. You know, yeah. I, I as a kid went and watched it. Was that by the meat locker? No, it was up by Ad Gray. Oh yeah. At the field that yeah. by A. D. Gray. Yeah. And uh yeah, I went to several games. And so cool, like the Yeah. You know, that's your team like that's your team. Yeah. Like, I'm from right. Millinock and I wanna go right. support yeah. that. So, my my baseball team. Yeah. yeah right. It's just so cool. Yeah, we're playing against Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Some of those old traditions have gone by the wayside. Yeah. Unfortunately, but you know, 
there was no TV then. Yep. You know, people got out and did stuff. Mm -hmm. We know, had com community oriented. How many dance halls were there in Jefferson alone? Jesus, I think there were like five. Yeah. There would be a dance every weekend. A Friday night, Saturday yeah. night. Yeah. We, yeah. There we, used to be one right there as you start up the Valley Road. Yeah. Clary Lake. Yeah, one. Clary Lake. Uh, yeah. Where else? Gee, so I, I think there were five. Or something. Yeah. And they had bands. Yeah. Yeah. Live bands. Live, yeah, Don Pierce played drums, I know. He, oh, really? Yeah, he would go around different dance halls. Huh. That, that, we had that in Millinocket, too. My grandparents used to say, yeah, we, we your grandfather used to take me out dancing every Friday. I'm yeah. Like, out dancing? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what is, what yeah. is that? I mean, remember school dances, but... This was different than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Everybody would have a bottle in the car. <laughs> what? Keep, keep running out to the car. You couldn't was bring it like it, chaperone? You couldn't bring it in. You know, you like Lakehurst. Yeah. You know, that used to be a real popular dance hall. There go the neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Lakehurst, yeah. And, uh, you know, geez, it used to... Did you go to some of them dances? I maybe one or two. Yeah, but I mean it was it was good. I mean, you, sometimes it was a little skirmish, you know. Oh, I bet there was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> over the pretty girl. Yeah, right. Yeah, girl from the next town over. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're not supposed to date anybody that's not in from your <laughs> town. Used to happen with Millinock and East Millinock and all oh, that. Gosh. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> that must have been a wicked rivalry. <laughs> you got to tell Stevie about when you were a kid going to the CCC camp. Oh, yeah. The old CCC camp. with Was it Preston? I went with this. My folks were friends of Preston and Edna Powell, and Preston was a barber. Mm hmm. And he, on the side, he would repair singer sewing machines. He'd go around oh, to somebody's wow. house or whatever and service their mm -hmm. machine. And Edna was a school teacher. And uh, my parents would always play cards with them, usually about every weekend or Friday night or some Saturday night or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can remember going to their house. I'd be in my pajamas, and I, they'd put me up in their bed and I'd have to, you know, <laughs> I wanted to be down there watching them play cat, right. but no, you know, it was my bedtime. <laughs> That's pretty neat, going to somebody else's house and getting put to bed. Right. right? Yeah. That stuff doesn't happen anymore either. No. I remember that a little bit as a kid. Yeah. Not much. But, <laughs> so Preston, down at this CCC camp, where there was a bunch of older men, they lived there. Oh, it turned into a men's camp. Right. It yes, turned that's into right. A men's camp after the war. Oh, yeah. They they established these CCC camps during the war to give people employment. Oh. Uh, you know, and, and what's they the CCC? Civilian Conservation Corps. Oh, and they okay. would build roads. FDR, or, you mm -hmm. know, do civic. Mm -hmm. You know, help towns. You know, build roads Whatever or anything. To be done. Yeah. yeah. Anything like that. It was like uh, American infrastructure, so like yeah. bridges, roads. And they lived right yeah. in these like barrack like, mm -hmm. you know, facilities and were fed and everything else. And uh, so Preston was friends of the supervisor of the camp. And uh, so he got the job of going down and cutting hair on, you know. Yeah. And uh, so I would, he often would take me down and and uh, they always had a f movie running in the in the hall mm -hmm. and uh, it used to <laughs> the, I think one of that must have been one of their favorite movies was Francis the Talking Mule <laughs> <laughs> movie <laughs> so I used to sit there and watch the movie while he was cutting hair yeah and Preston always had the gift of gab you know mm -hmm. oh my gosh he could you know, he was a great conversationalist mm -hmm. and uh, loved deer hunting and tell deer stories and, you know, it was fun. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, he used to take me some deer hunting with him. And uh, I remember the time we were sitting, you know, he took me out just before dark and uh, three deer went by. And I said, Preston, shoot, shoot. 
he said, and I was just, I didn't have a gun or anything. I just went with him. Yeah. He said, I can't. I've already shot one. <laughs> <laughs> but he just took me out just yeah. to experience it, I guess. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Now that was out back of the cattle pound. Oh, no way. Yeah. I know yeah. where that is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've been up there. Yeah. That's where we went. <laughs> <laughs> so were movies like not, was that not like a regular thing back then? Like having TV oh, or? Oh, they, yeah, they always said, mo you know. But like at home, did you have a TV at the time or? No, I didn't. So like I, the movie was a big was, deal. I think I was like, it was a. 52 or 54 before we got a TV. Wicked. But I remember listening to the radio, you know, yeah. Gunsmoke and, Jeez. you know, Roy Rogers. Yeah. And, and they would have these, uh, well, you know, like Helen Trent, you know, like, uh, which is a soap opera. Yeah, yeah. On, like a, on the radio. Like a continual, like a... Series every Monday night right. was and it yeah. just picked up where the last one left off. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you know you get into listening to the you know your shows. And yeah, that's that's so it, cool. Didn't you tell Stevie about your school bus? Was it you that had the school bus where you had to pay five dollars or something? Yeah, when we when I went to high school at Lincoln Academy, <clears throat> that was one of the first years they they started a bus run to Jefferson because a lot of kids from Jefferson would go there yeah and before that parents would have to take them mm -hmm. so it was a big issue about how are we going to fund the school bus you know and so so it ended up like the town paid some of it but we had to pay some of it to ride the school bus and yeah. I think it was five dollars a week Wow. My parents had to pay. <laughs> and didn't he show up with a deer across the hood? Yeah. Well, yeah. The bus driver? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chet Swift was the bus driver. He shot oh, at the room. Chet Swift, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think he shot, yeah, he shot it on, on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> And it just uh, yeah, out the field. Bring my gun. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine nowadays throwing a gun <laughs> in a school bus? <laughs> oh my then to word. Stop, they didn't but to stop up. with a bunch of kids. Yeah. And shoot pop one in a field. Yeah. Go get it, boys. <laughs> we're gonna be late. I gotta gut this deer. Yeah. Out we're first. gonna be late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard he threw it across the hood. Yeah. yeah. I Finish can't. I can't remember that, but he definitely did shoot one on the way to school. Wow. Yeah. Did you have a buddy shoot one from the bus stop? I don't remember now. Uh, yeah, I remember well, you telling me that story. Yeah, he did. Huh. He got in trouble though. Really? He, well, he shot one off of Camp Bell's field back when it was posted. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, and then uh, I want to say his dad shot one that same night, and they both got <laughs> Really? I mean, Keith Jewett shot a number of deer out of that field. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Pat almost got one out of the field, but for some reason, he thought he had to get closer. Yeah. Huh. I dropped him off. You know, I was on the phone with Jeff. We were FaceTiming. And I said, watch this. Pat's going to shoot this deer. It was a nice buck down the bottom of that field. Yeah. And he was at the top of the field. That's, what is it, 150 yards? Yeah, maybe? probably at least. Yeah. And he had 30 up six with a scope, and he tried to sneak up on it and then run off. Oh, really? Oh. It's like middle of the day, we were driving by. Yeah. Always deer down there. Yeah. Always. I can remember the Except old... the lake? Like uh, the, big, the big... Dire yeah. Long Pond. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, right past the cattle pound. First field past the cattle okay. pound. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But can, it was... Yeah. I can remember the old cars in town. You know, deer hunters would have a... They'd have front fenders, you know, and they'd strap the deer right on the front fender. And, <laughs> Parade through town oh, yeah. if it was a big buck, yeah. you know, and show it off. <laughs> Those times are gone. We had a race car driver in town years ago. Which one? Uh, well, the one I knew about was from the garage. Jackson? Oh, yeah, Joe Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was big time. NASCAR, like national? No, drag, drags. Oh, drags, yeah. In fact, the end, he... Met his demise at Dragstrip oh, in California. Huh. Got Good killed. Wow. 
lost control of it. But he was in, you know, national big races. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know of any other ones. Yeah. Yeah. No, he he was a daredevil too. You know, growing up, I used to we used to play together and and uh, his father got it. You know, he got into boat racing. They'd have boat races oh, on on the lake. You remember those? No. Before my time. Yeah. yeah. Have boat races and and uh, <laughs> that must have been cool. Yeah. Yeah. His brother Freddie, Joe and Freddie were both adopted. And Freddie was very conservative, you know. He he wasn't the daredevil that Joe was. And Rick liked Joe because he was so daring and loved speed and mm -hmm. and uh geez, he went through a lot of money buying stuff for Joe. Well he didn't make it. Huh. We used to have doctors in town. Yeah. Yeah, I, Dr. Wilson. Yeah, down by the yeah. river, right? Yeah. yeah. He was a, my father's doctor, and mine too. I, but he doctored made, like in town, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he had a, his uh, doctor's office right in his house. Yeah. And then he'd work at Togus during the day. Mm -hmm. And he worked so many hours Jeez. a week. He'd go to house calls. Or, wow. I mean, he was, had no free time of his. Huh. I was reading the. Um, it was like Jefferson Woman's Club. Uh, what was it, 1949, the one your mom's in? So the, the cookbook? Yeah. Yeah. And they did a cookbook like to raise money mm -hmm. where all the women in town put recipes in. Yeah. Miller yeah. Market has some of those. Oh, yeah. We, we've got one that my grandma yeah. has. No, all these Do you know what year it was? No. Nope. Huh? I, I can probably look at because Chrissy was... She was just looking up a recipe. She wanted to try something that Baba used to cook, so she found that old cookbook. Oh, she started so thumbing cool. through. Yeah, but it's, it was the same idea. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, this one's I want to say like forty nine or forty seven. Yeah, I think it was forty seven. Forty seven. Okay, because your mother was eighteen. I think she was eighteen years old in it. So it, was it earlier, uh, or was she older? Good. Yeah, she she was born in nineteen eighteen. Nineteen eighteen. Wow. So. It wasn't 36, so maybe she was a little older. Yeah. But anyway, she was in there quite a bit for the right. desserts. Right, she was in that. I think that might have been a ladies' aid cookbook or Yeah, something. it was Jefferson Women's, Women's Club. Club. Yeah, yeah. But I was reading through it, and the amount of businesses we had in Jefferson then yeah. is out of this world. Because they did the ads in the, in the front Yeah, the right. Back. They yeah. did ads like in quite a few sections, Yeah. front and back, and... I think Dr. Wilson drew all the ads, didn't he? Or did I hear that? Or was yeah, and if I know, I somebody can't drew all the ads. Yeah, like they're all hand drawn. Right. Wow. Yeah. The whole book's handwritten, other than print, you know, reprinted. Yeah. And uh, I gotta believe there was thirty. I can say thirty businesses. Yeah. In town then, and now there's like four. Yeah. Yeah. But there was. I think your parents had orchards in there. Oh yeah, or yeah, like your grandparents orchard. maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That and, was in and there. Uh, Brian Hodgkins had an orchard. Yeah. Uh, sunrise orchards or something. Yeah, like I that. saw that one. Then there was dance halls were in yeah. there. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh geez, you know, cat. There was like cattle stuff. Right. Wayne's father was in there for yeah. something. I don't know what he'd have been in there for. A lot of fireman stuff. Yeah. 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 Back then, stores. Things, things were community oriented. You know, now there's no community mm -mm. spirit. No. You know, it's hard to get people to serve on committees. To, you, you get know, once, once a committees. year at the basketball tournament. That's about it. Yeah. Like yeah. you wouldn't believe the Cross Center in Bangor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When Skank had their games. Our, the Skank side was. Full. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. find a seat. Any any team from the county, yeah, I mean, they would have yeah. a band right. come and yeah. I mean, they yeah. they really support this yeah. sports program. Mm -hmm. in the Even county. Lincoln, remember uh, Elliot's girlfriend state championship game? Yeah, right. That we went to right. I think it was Lincoln, right? Yeah, uh, we had a weird name. Yeah, Matt Cook. Yep, yeah, that was it. You would not believe how many people were there. Yeah, yeah. 
It was crazy. They yeah. had signs and they were singing. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. You, the band plays and the, yeah. everyone in the crowd sings the school's fight song. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, they really get into it. Yeah. Northern Maine's like turning the clock back. It is. Yeah. Yep. Which is nice. Yeah, it the is down a nice east, thing. I think, has a little bit of that too. Yep. Yep. Down east might not have caught up yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it puts shame to the southern Maine schools. You know, oh, they, yeah. But even Jefferson, like when I moved to town, we had a community day was a big thing. Yeah. You were a big part of that. Yeah, we started Was that, that. the barbecue that, that you took us to one year? Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. We were out of college. Yeah. Uh, Nate, I remember Nader was there. Yeah. I can't even remember how we were all that year. Yeah, I know. That's weird. Was it Wallach's wedding? It probably was. Yeah. And we all stayed at your house, but we came the day before because yeah. you wanted us to come to Jefferson Community, community Day. Yeah, yeah. Right. Chicken barbecue, yeah. and it was awesome. We used, yeah. A lot of time we had a parade. And it was always at a parade. Yeah. And then they had a... The booze on the green. They have, you know, people selling, you know, whatever for, you know. Married men versus unmarried men yeah. softball yeah. game. That, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, or tug of war. I mean, yeah. that was... Going on when I was a kid. Yeah, we had tug of wars where all sorts of different tug of wars. Yeah. Men, married men versus unmarried kids yeah. versus you know like right. we had wicked tug of wars and the yeah. rope was this big. Yeah, and you were out in a field full of mud because the fire department was Where'd spraying people spraying? with the hose. Yeah. <laughs> right. They were they would spray the hose and the kids could run under it. Yeah, yeah. And then we always had a band. Yeah. There was always a band playing. Yeah, we had music. <laughs> yeah, and everybody in town set up like a booth. Yeah. Could sell like their home goods right. or yeah. Or um they had trinkets a, or yeah. You know, each yeah. The organization would have something to sell. Four mm -hmm. H. I mean or, that was a big thing. That was a big deal that Jefferson right. community. You know, I was on we st uh, I was on the committee that started it. We I after twenty two years I think, I said, Well, I'm done. Yeah, and Greg just, and I got it. Just went to hell after that, and, you yeah. know, nobody. I was gonna get it going, yeah. but then COVID hit. Yeah, yeah. Because I went and uh, I got the guy's name and number that has them sheep dogs that goes to yeah. Unity. Yeah, those are awesome. It's unbelievable. Watch. It's the coolest thing you'll ever see. Yeah, and I was gonna hire him to come do Jefferson Day. Yeah, and he was gonna do it. We and were then COVID we... hit. There was somebody in North Whitefield that had balloons, yeah. hot air balloons. Oh, yeah. yeah, helicopter too. Yeah, and helicopters. Yeah. And we tried two or th two yeah. years in a row to get him, and he was going to come. Yeah. But he said, and just have a rope tether, you know, take mm -hmm. people up yeah. maybe 100 feet and then come back down. Yeah. But the wind, every, seemed like every year oh. that we wanted him to come, it was too much wind. <laughs> So that couldn't. would have been a good one. Yeah, that, oh, we were hoping to get that one. Yeah, Because Greg's, his son, Greg and I got to set up the tent, do the oh, chairs geez. and the tables. Hall we, tables. And, and Greg had a truck, so I remember for about three straight days, oh, we'd pour foundations and then you just go friggin' carry yeah. tables and chairs. And we'd have to take tables out of a sonic hall, the school. Oh yeah, we had to go find them everywhere. Yeah, the fire oh, department, oh, oh, town oh, office. Yeah. Um, Masonic halls, the uh, church. church, yeah, it was couple a, churches. It was a big field, right? Was yeah. this, was it behind the school? In front of it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right, yeah, yeah, right in the big field. Yeah, yeah. big tent. Jack Meehan did a lot of the barbecues. Yeah, he did them all. So good. I remember the chicken being so good. Jefferson, I mean, I'm not partial. I am partial, <laughs> but Je but Jefferson barbecues chicken yeah. better than anywhere I've ever been. Yeah, I know they make a good one up where. Worcester is up yeah. there in Houston, yeah. on the way to Camp Bell. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a good one there that Bobby and I would go to when we were going to uh, Camp Bello, and and they, the women would make homemade. I mean, these were all homemade blueberry pies. Oh, yeah. hundreds of them, and yeah. that was so good. Yeah, I heard that barbecue was good. Yeah. I've heard that before. Yeah. But Jefferson can barbecue chicken. Yeah, that's good. Still what, to this day. Do yeah. they? Is it? Do they brine it ahead of time? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah, and they got a special brine for it. Yeah, and, and, the, and they and spray they it. Keep spraying it. Yeah. Spray it all the time, and yeah. it just keeps adding a layer. Yeah. Of that brine cooked into it. Yeah. And then this, they got pits. They got those metal pits. I remember too. those big, deep, yeah. you know, charcoal yeah. pits yeah. that they had. So that. 
puts a good flavor on it too. Wicked. Yeah. 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 They get it going early. They still do it. The, yeah. The fire department does it. Do they? Oh yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's ignorant. Yeah. It sells out by noon. Yeah. Or before, 750 chickens. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, Jefferson can do that. That community day was fun. I'd like to get it going again. I know. It's, it's hard to get anybody to do anything. Yeah, I know. It's hard for me that time yeah, of year. Yeah, I mean, that's a, yeah. But I was going to do your it. folks served ice cream there, you yep. know, two or three yep. different times or yep. more maybe. I do remember that. Yeah. I remember helping them. Yeah. Because it was hot too and you had to keep it from. Right, yeah. Yeah. But I remember there was a, uh, we, we did a softball game. For the whole town too. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, all ages. Yeah, yeah. That that men, uh, you know, that before community day when I was much younger, probably in my twenties anyway, but even before that, they always had a parade on Fourth of July, yeah. and then they would have a softball game in the afternoon, married men against single men. Yeah, and. You know, you get a variety of ages. Yeah, know, it's true. You know, yeah. And uh, Harry Sharpie, I remember him. He would be in every one of them. Single. And he or was a catcher. Married or single? He was married. Yeah. And that used to be a big. I mean, we'd draw people to watch. I mean, well, it was, imagine a lot of women came to see who the men single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. That was Tinder back then. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I remember that tug of war. That was the most friggin' fun. Yeah, with like oh. fifty people on each did team. You, did you do it? Oh yeah. Yeah. You I get mean, like fifty of them. You, you have the Peasley you clan, and you couldn't get any foothold because it was mud. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. That still to this day pisses me off that I never got. Any of Hank's artwork, Consuelo yeah. or his, because there was so many. You all... got some right there. Yeah. But there were so many at all those shows. Yeah. They always, I mean, they donated so many. I know it. Yeah, you know, and each one would get over a hundred dollar bid on it. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, that's we, probably I mean, why. They I, were really... That's probably why I never got them. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but we play football or soccer or wiffle ball. There'd be all sorts of kids out there playing. Then go to the beach. Yeah, times have really changed. Jeez. Yeah. Now you don't see a kid out of out doing anything. Yeah. Out of doors. <laughs> it's the same light. No. Nope. Yeah. But you know, God, we used to ride bikes to school. Yeah. You know, now the parents are standing out with the kid waiting for a bus. Yep. Well, most of them just take them to school. Yeah. yeah. I can remember Darcy drove, rode the bus. And one time, she was on Don Bowman's bus. Same here. And, he was tough. And <laughs> He wouldn't let you talk. No, he was pretty tough. He was tough. <laughs> yeah. But she fell asleep on the bus. And she didn't... He didn't know she was, you know, he stopped at the house and she didn't get off. So we figured, well, you probably, you know, we probably went and picked her up or whatever. Yeah. So she fell asleep. He drove home, you know, emptied the bus, drove home, parked it. And, and Bobby said, where's Darcy? I said, I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, come to find out she's asleep at dawn on the bus. <laughs> You know, we called, called, and he said, "No, she wasn't on the bus." You know, you know. Well, come to find out, she was on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, that was a, a panic moment. Imagine. Yeah, we had a couple panic moments with Darcy. One time, Bobby was working nights in Augusta at the post office, and. She would get home during the day and be tired and sleep. So she put Darcy down for a nap. Then she went in and had a nap herself. And this was before she was at school age. 
and uh, she gets up, no gossip. Uh oh. We friggin' panic. Oh. We figured, you know, she was like five years old. Wow. We figured she must have woke up while Bobby was sleeping and gone over the woods. We, we imagined everything. And uh, we almost, we looked and yelled and hollered and almost was ready to call the forest, you know, yeah. game warden. So, and <laughs> look, we looked on the kitchen table and there was a note on the table that my mother came up and Darcy was awake, and she, and she knew Bobby was sleeping, and I was working. Yeah. She said, I, I took Darcy down to my house. Oh, jeez. But we never even thought to look on the table for a note. Oh, no, right. I mean, we just friggin' panicked. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And you think the worst when oh, something yeah. like that. How are you doing with the stove? It's doing the same thing. Yeah. I bet there's dirt or something that may be in, you know, specks of rust or something. Yeah, I bet. Well, we got some cake when you're ready to have some dessert. You got some cake, huh? Yeah, Darcy made it. I hope you like it. Everybody in the county seems to. Yep. Yeah, we uh, we used to ride bikes to school too. Yeah. I used to ride it to school till I got caught. I I'd show up. I was late every day. Really? I'd go right past school. <laughs> I'd turn in Jimmy O'Halloran's door yard. Really? <laughs> yeah, and I. And he used to let me borrow his canoe that he had parked down behind the graveyard. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> so I always had a fishing rod on my bike. So I'd go right past school. Oh, couple, no. like, quite a few days I met Joel Beveridge there. Huh. And he and I would fish the stream from Jimmy O'Halloran's to the store. And then paddle like hell back and make it about an hour late to school. And oh, we, wow. we did that for about a week. Week or two straight, and then Joel got in trouble for it. Ah. So then that meant I got in trouble for it. <laughs> and that was the end of me riding my bike for a little while. <laughs> they couldn't trust me after that. Ah. Ah. But the funniest thing we ever did was remember George owned me in that green truck, that big green Chevy, yeah, like pickup truck. Yeah, and George was our janitor, and we took every bike in that bike rack and threw it in the back. <laughs> Really? In the back of his truck during recess. Oh my word. And then, because he always went and picked up the mail right yeah, after recess. Right. Yeah. And we all sat in that front window at the front of that school. And he didn't want to take the bikes out or didn't want to be late to go get the mail. So he went and drove off. He had all the bikes hanging out of his pickup truck. Oh my And the word. whole class was dying laughing. I remember the teacher yelling at us. Oh, It was God. the funniest thing. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure he come out and I know he laughed to this yeah, day. Right. You know darn well he saw them bikes were just like them friggin' kids. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. But we thought that was the funniest thing in the world, Bess. <laughs> <then. laughs> oh, that cake is right in that green thing over there. If you could figure out how to open it, you could have a piece. Yeah, the green thing? Yeah. The apple cake I heard about. Yeah, that's it. It's apple dapple. Apple dapple. You want some hot tea or anything? Nope, I'm all set. You want any hot beer? Nope. There's a the butter knife. Tony, you want another beer? No, thanks. There's plenty out there. No, oh, I'm good. Thanks. That was a treat for me, was hearing your old stories about your grandparents, both sides, but especially the ones on the farm. 
That was kind of a treat to me. Yeah. Was hearing all those stories. Then he brought me to show me the farm. Oh my god. Oh yeah. It's yeah. a wreck now. Yeah. But still, I mean I could see what it was. Yeah. I mean I don't it doesn't matter what it looks like now. Yeah. From your stories, like I could see right. it like with a new mill and a new barn and Yeah. Yeah. You used to ride the work horses play. <laughs> Cowboys and Indians. Indians. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, I my yeah, you know, they'd always have something to eat. Jeez, that would be a big thing. Come in and have a piece of cake, a pot, piece of pie. Something homemade. Oh yeah, everything was homemade. No nothing out of a box there. Huh. And Grammy Johnston the same way. She made the best chocolate cake with Jeez. vanilla frosting on the top. All homemade. Oh my god. He'd die for he, he used to go play cowboys and Indians with his cousin. Yeah. Oh, yeah? And his grandparents. They had a pair of work horses. And my cousin, who was about my age, I think we were three months apart in age, and he had a younger brother. And he was always interested in, you know, he had like an eight millimeter camera. And, mm -hmm. and he would, you know, take pictures. And we'd get all those. Horses, well, our legs would be like this because they're so broad across the back. And you'd have your cowboy hat on and your shirt and the guns. And cap the, gun or something. Oh, yeah, cap yeah. guns. Then, <laughs> and of course, his younger brother, we were the cowboys, he and I, his younger brother was the Indian. And we would just beat on him like, oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, oh geez, it was it was awful. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, and, you know my cousin died here several years back, and uh, Carrie, who was the one that we used to beat on, he's he's still alive. But, yeah. And I I said Carrie, I I got to apologize because I can remember us. You you know, we'd get up in the hay mound and throw him all over the place. And it's a wonder he didn't get fall through right Yeah, the, the younger floor. brother was probably just happy to be thrown around. Oh, jeez. Because he got to play with the older kids. Yeah. <laughs> Donnie was telling me that uh, the grandmother would make most of the presents, or a lot of times they made the presents. Oh. Like that. Right? Yeah. Was that what it was? The what? Do what? Presents for Christmas. Or yeah. you were telling me what Christmas was like. Oh, yeah. They would have Christmas Eve, they'd have all their children, my grandparents' children, which were four of them, and all of their children, you know. Yeah. And have it a big, they had a big tree, and they would always buy the kids, and there was quite a few of us, mm -hmm. and they didn't have a lot of money, you know, but they'd always buy us a little gift, and yeah. they'd have, a, you know, I have a case of soda out in the shed. My grandfather always called it pop. Mm -hmm. He said, go, go out and get a bottle of pop out there. You know, and it'd be in a glass bottle. Yeah. In all different kinds. And uh, he'd be cooking popcorn on the wood stove. Yeah. And he, he had a container full of you know, bacon fat, mm -hmm. and he'd always put a couple spoonfuls of that in with the pop to pop the popcorn. Yeah. And it's friggin' delicious with that was. bacon flavor. Yeah. 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 And the, the stove would be roaring. My grandmother would be closer than this to the stove. It must have been 120 in that kitchen. <laughs> yeah. and she'd be cold. Oh. You know, she'd be sitting right on top of it almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That must have been cool. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? That tradition is dead. It's gone. You know. Don't do that anymore. Some of those old traditions are, yeah, really, you know, family oriented and. You always remember stuff like that. Yeah.
Yeah, I do. Even when, you know, at Preston's, you know, he'd, yeah. he'd have his barber shop open in the evening, you know, doing hair cutting. And, and oftentimes, you know, the father would take me over and we'd just sit there and listen to whoever was in there. Always had a story. Yeah, just go over and they would tell these stories. You know, some of them were, you know, Harry Sharpie was a great one. You know, he worked for the state on a state truck down east a lot. Yeah. And and they would get talking deer stories. And Harry said, Well, I saw 30 deer in this field out there when I was up doing road repair. And you knew it was a bunch of. <laughs> but Preston would go along with it. And, oh my God, it was just great stories, you know. Yeah. Half of them were, you know, blown up a little bit, I think. Was that across the street from me? Yeah, that little Went building. To, yeah. Uh, he first had it in his house, in the room, back room in the yeah. house. The one that's fallen in. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. I remember when it was out front. Yeah. Yeah. With a, he had a barber pole out there and everything. Yeah. And I think the state might have got after him because he can't have it. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the reason was, but maybe Edna didn't want him to have it in the house. <laughs> but, was uh, she your second grade teacher? No, seventh and eighth grade. Oh, seventh eighth. Yeah. She was principal, too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. She was still, like, around. Yeah, she taught I was for there. years. Yeah. She was still around when I was there, but yeah, she had to have been close to a hundred. Yeah, I can't remember how old she was. Yeah, but she was. She and Preston were fun, fun people to be around. Dana could tell you a hundred stories oh, about him because he lived where you do now. Yeah, and Preston and Edna were always look after him, you know, because he. Yeah. You know. Dana has got some good uh, stories about Beanie Holmes. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. He said he used to do the trash room. Oh, Beanie. yeah, right. He and he said a... Beanie had a bottle. Yeah. He'd stop in the middle of nowhere. And say, Coffee branding. He said, go over there behind that pine tree. Yeah. And get that bottle over there. Yeah. Dana'd bring it over. You know, he'd run over and get it, bring it back. And then they'd, half hour later, they'd stop and he'd say, go over that rock wall over there. <laughs> And halfway down the rock wall, to find it. <laughs> okay. he'd run over and fetch it. Yeah. And then Beanie's wife would scream at me. Oh, yeah. Why the hell did you let him drink? Yeah. <laughs> he was the town drunk. Oh, awful. I mean, Beanie was a hard worker, but alcohol yeah. got the best of him. Yeah, he was in the fire department for a while, too, right? I, I guess. Still. I don't remember much about that, but. I know he got mad and he burned the shitter down. Yeah. It was in front of the, where the scoop is now. Yeah. There was like a town shitter there or something. He burned it down. Right. That was kind of the end of it. For yeah, me. he was married to Joyce Jackson, his first marriage. Oh, really? Yeah. It was a pretty good film station back then. Looks like it. You know, they've done a good job with what it is now. It's coming back. It'll yeah. be good. Yeah. That's where we tag my turkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got our dog off of Keith Jewett. They were Brittany Spaniel Fletcher. Huh. Oh. That's who we got it from. He, he was breeding with Brittany's for a little while there. Huh. Oh. Yeah. Russell, do you see much of Russell? I haven't much lately, but a little bit. They had a meeting at my shop that one night of the Jefferson area community hunters and fishermen. <laughs> it was, they brought over Wyatt Flag, just a young pup. Uh, Stevie. Oh, is that Stevie's son? Yeah. Stevie was there, and uh, Jesse, Molly, Russell, might have been it. Yeah. Huh. And we sat around talking, hunting, fishing in the shop. Yeah. And <laughs> ate deer and moose and everything else. Wow. Molly brought yeah. over pickled moose tongue. It was good. Really? I was not expecting it to be that good. I was like, 
Oh, I think the Thanksgiving up here will be the greatest thing ever. We'll have a kid stable and a adult stable. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been sitting around here telling old time stories of high school, college stories. I'm reminiscing about old childhood stories with grandparents and all of that. And, and uh, but I'm getting tired of listening to all this stuff. <laughs> so it's 20 minutes of nine and I'm hitting the hay. Oh, it's late. This is the latest I've been in bed forever. Yeah. So we'll see you guys probably tomorrow. He'll have this doggone camera running at something. So have a good evening. All right, Donnie, I'll see you in the morning. All right, Donnie. Sleep, sleep in. You don't have to get up. What's that? Like we could all sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> There's no rush. Yeah. Well, the trouble is I never can sleep in. Yeah, I hear you. You know, I'm programmed. Yep. 6.30 or 6 o'clock is...